So the NFCR, National Financial Conditions Index, focuses purely on financial markets, what's going on in, in, in the many uh, financial markets. The Adjusted National Financial Conditions Index, or the ANFCI, relates financial activity to economic activity, is measured by our own National Activity Index, and um, inflation. So the idea being that when financial conditions are tight, economic growth tends to be slower. When financial conditions are loose, inflation tends to be higher. So by relating the two uh, with each other, we can come up with kind of a composite measure that tells us where financial conditions stand in relation to economic growth and inflation. That's what we call the ANFCI. So there are a number of what are called financial conditions indexes or financial stress indexes that are already out there. Um, several of them have very short time spans. Our index goes all the way back to 1973, so we have a broad historical coverage. Uh, many of them only cover a few financial markets, uh, just looking at a few financial indicators. We have over 100 financial indicators in our index covering a broad array of financial markets. And as well, our index is weekly, so it's something that we produce uh, at a very high frequency and something that we make available to the public so they can kind of monitor what's going on in financial conditions as we do ourselves. But the reason for our weekly release is that we believe uh, it helps us to uh, get a real-time sense of what's going on in financial markets. So financial markets uh, move very quickly. Uh, they're very volatile. So get, getting a, a higher frequency gauge of what's going on in financial markets is very helpful uh, in terms of monitoring financial stability and also forecasting uh, economic growth, for instance, because uh, measures of economic activity, they tend to be at a lower frequency and measured less often. Financial markets react much more quickly and have a forward-looking sense of what's going on in the economy. So measuring that at a weekly frequency gives us a better idea of what's going on currently, both in financial markets and in the broader economy. So, so far, throughout the various research projects that we've done, we found two uses for the index. The first being a real-time monitor of financial stability. So when the National Financial Conditions Index tends to be positive or well above zero, uh, that tends to be a sign of stress in financial markets. So we can use this measure as a way of kind of keeping track of what's going on in a broad array of financial markets. The second way in which we found the index to be useful is forecasting future rates of economic growth. So there's definitely a relationship between our financial index and our measure of national um, economic activity, the CFNAI. And we found uh, through various um, projects that when the index, the National Financial Conditions Index tends to be positive or indicates tight financial conditions, that corresponds with lower rates of future economic growth. Our adjusted in a National Financial Conditions Index is a way to kind of take those two things into account and present a nice summary measure where financial and economic conditions stand in relation to each other.